Yeah. And she doesn't like them. <laughs> she's, she's pretty smart. That's right. That's right. And, and it saves money. It saves money. Uh, what about the Twilight Zone? Do you have the Twilight Zone in Belarus? Have you ever seen it? Twilight Zone. What is it? It's a TV show. It's uh, very popular. Oh. It's an old... You've never seen it. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, I, I heard about movie Twilight, maybe, something like that. Ah, uh, yeah, there, there's a movie called Twilight, but that's for children. That's uh, some some vampire movie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, Twilight Zone is a very old uh, TV show. I'll show you a picture. Twilight Zone. And you can see it's from like the 1950s, 1960s. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Um I'll, I'll just play the intro. I don't know if you guys can see it. You unlock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sound. A dimension of sight. A dimension of mind. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You just crossed over into can you see the video? Yeah, I know it. Yeah. You know the show, Gusher? Yes. Do you watch it? Yes. Sometimes it's scary. Yeah. No problem? Yes, I know it's good. Wow, you're a tough guy. I didn't, I didn't see this show, but, but Bishop told me he knows this show and he watched it. Wow, yeah, it's a good show. They have some on, you, on YouTube, I see here. Um, so uh, uh, I guess if you're interested, it's got like scary stuff, but uh, it, is, it is a pretty good show. But this is on, t- on TV. It's not on, on, on uh, YouTube. It is on YouTube. Here's, I, I'm looking at the side here. They have three of them. Uh, on YouTube. It's from 1959. Really cool. All right. Let me go to the next scene here. Uh, Alexander Amai. Next stop, Queensboro Plaza. And Amai is busy. Mmm, gyro. No, I'm not busy, but I didn't. Uh, I will be who? Elaine? Yeah, one line. Mmm, zero. That's it. Mmm, zero. It's not zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Amal, you're Winona. Alexander, you're Jerry. Winona is uh, speaking very fast. She speaks very fast. Yep. And me. Okay, um, I like your play. Your place. It's very unassuming. Well, why would you? I assume I never assume. Leads to assumptions. Oh, by the way, that TV guide I gave you, I need it back. Why? Well, I'm doing a report on minorities in the media, and I wanted to use that interview with uh, Al Roker. Well, it's too late. I gave it to Elaine. She's already on her way to give it to George's father. Jerry, I really need it back. It, uh, it's mine. But you can't give it to something then take it back. I mean, what are you... What? Uh, uh, a person that... Uh, a person that what? Well, a person that did something and then the dissatisfied uh, and they wish they had, had never... Uh, and? Give, given uh, to the person they, they originally gave it to. 
You mean like an Indian giver? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with that term. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. Oh, Alexander, your act yeah. is professional. Great liar. <laughs> no, it's really, really good. Try this line again, Alexander. Why would you assume? Yeah, I'm sorry. This should be a question mark. Uh, why would I assume? Why would I assume? There you go. There you go. And am um, I? Yeah. This is a question. One more time. That TV guide I gave you. It's a question. So, oh, by the way, that TV guide I gave you. Oh, by the way, that, that TV guy they gave you? Perfect, perfect. And remember, it's not I, it's Al. Al Roker. Al, it's what? Al Roker. Al Roker. Not I, Al. 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 Al Roker. Very good, very good. Now here am I, you said it's mine. So in America, usually we say it's like this, but here it's separate. Why is that? Emphasize. Yeah, so which word do we emphasize? It is mine. Exactly, that's exactly it, it. And she actually, I think she emphasized both these. It is mine. It is mine. More, more is. It is mine. It is mine. Perfect, perfect. Shane. Yes. You said last last week you tell me uh, in the DVM that I say El Roker, right? It was perfect. And you tell me two uh, two names like Alberto and the other one I don't know. Alan. Ah, yes, Alan. That's exactly right. Why didn't you teach your mother? I didn't. I, uh, I forget. <laughs> Amal, which yeah. word is important? Um, me. An Indian, Indian. An Indian giver? That's right. An Indian giver? An Indian giver. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, we'll go to the last scene here. Uh, let's do... Besher, you're Ricky. <laughs> and Alexander will be Frank. And Estelle. And Elaine will be Amai. I think she's calling Besher. She's got two kids running around her house right now. <laughs> I'm back. That's okay. Why. You're Ricky, I Besher. Like, I don't like this time, but... You're busy. I like the special... I like the special fall... I like the... <laughs> I like the special fall review... It's news the best. Good job. Those I've been saving those from the beginning. Uh, these are worth like a lot of money. Oh, hello, Elaine. Hello. <laughs> Besser. <Hey>. Hello. <laughs> hello. Elaine. Hello. You look scrumptious. <laughs> Why do you take my TV guide? I'm sorry about that, Mr. Costanza, but look, look, I, uh, I brought you another one. I made, I made this no. for you. <laughs> Oh, thank you. What is this? You got stains all over it? What the hell did you do? Hey, you can't talk to her like that. 
I'll talk to her anywhere I want. <laughs> Come on, Elaine, let's go. My coffee table. <laughs> oh, great job. Um, you guys, everybody's pronunciation is really good. The acting was good, too. Uh, Besher, it's not preview, it's preview. Fall preview. Preview. There you go. There you go. Everything else is fine. Any questions about Seinfeld? Uh, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't read the vocabulary, but scrumptious. What means scrumptious? Uh, scrumptious. Uh, scrumptious. 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 Betcha, look at this picture. Ah, okay. Besher, does this picture look good? Yummy. Yummy. What's another word for yummy? Um, mm, delicious. Tasty. Scrumptious. Ah, scrumptious. Scrumptious. That's right. So usually we use scrumptious to describe a delicious food, but sometimes we can use it to describe someone who's looking very good. Uh, okay. So um, I, maybe your husband will tell you scrumptious. Ah, uh, okay. So it's used between uh, male and female. I mean, I cannot say, say, tell my friend, you look, uh, you look scrumptious. Okay. Women can. Guys won't unless they're gay. Uh, but but women can tell each other, oh, you look very scrumptious. That's possible. Uh, and usually it's used to women, not to guys. Guys don't look scrumptious. Guys look tough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you could use it. I guess, you know, a, 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 a wife or a girlfriend could tell her husband or boyfriend uh, scrumptious. But it's most commonly used to describe a woman when she's all dressed up. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So, like, your sister got married a couple months ago, right? Yeah. So, before her ceremony, you could have said this expression, Oh, you look scrumptious. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. More questions. I like this picture. My cats do this all the time. Oh. <laughs> you guys are laughing? Yeah. This is Bisher, not me. Uh-huh. Look at this, Bisher. Where's my camera? Wow. <laughs> wow. This is my this is my cat's artwork. <laughs> it's so tough. <laughs> this is uh, shrimp. What's that? What you call Shre shred. shredded? Shredded. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's shredded. Completely shredded. Yeah. You have no cats, right? No. Uh, no, I don't have. I used to have. I used to have beautiful cats, but not anymore. Did it, did it shred the paper? Uh, no, she never been to the... No, no, no. Oh, you're but lucky. She, but she, she used to scratch the cushions. The yeah, cushions. yeah, they like to do that too. Yeah. Alexander, you should get a cat. Sorry? You should get a cat. Uh, what's the meaning of um, uh, fall preview? It uh, it means uh, scenery or uh, view. Yeah, it's preview. this is it. It's a, it's the TV Guide magazine, and every fall, in this case September, uh, they come out with a special issue, a special issue, and the reason there's the fall preview is because in America the new television shows 
always begin in the fall. The new season begins in the fall. So this TV Guide issue will introduce all of the new shows to you. Okay. So that's why we say preview. Before you watch the new season, we will tell you all the new shows. Why, uh, why do they do it uh, in, in the fall? Because of the weather is bad? I think that's the big reason. It's, it's uh, colder and people stay inside. In the summertime, people watch less TV. But in the fall and wintertime, people are watching much more TV. How does it work in Belarus? Yeah, yeah. Because I, I don't know. You have no idea. I don't see a sitcoms. Do they have uh, do they have Belar Belarusian TV or do you guys watch Russian TV or both? We have Belarusian TV, but it's uh, really terrible. <laughs> is, I think it's better, but not the super super good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TV's TV. Why why is Belarusian TV so bad? Because we don't have, uh, we don't have, we have maybe um, qualified qualified person. Ah. Who can use it? Who can uh, make it? And e even if you have it, have them, uh, they don't have that job because we have old boring stupid manager <laughs> uh, on the top division. Yeah, That's yeah. Why. <laughs> it sounds like you really love the television structure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I I know what you mean. I feel pretty good fan. <laughs> what about uh, uh Amai? Um do you watch much TV? Uh, no. Only Besher does. Yeah, Besher. He likes to watch TV and he can sit three hours watching the movie. Oh my goodness, he's a professional. Yeah, but for me, no. It's just uh, sometimes, but not every day. Not necessarily. Yeah, yeah. When is, there the, is, there is yeah. When is the new season for uh, for the Saudi Arabian TV? Uh, I don't know, but every time they change it in Ramadan. Oh, okay, so after Ramadan they change. Yeah, they start new uh, shows. Because before Ramadan, most of the show will finish. I see, I see. Yeah, Korea, Korea is interesting. Korea, they start any time. You can have a new show kind of any time, any season. You know, the spring, summer, winter, fall. Uh, it's possible. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and go ahead. Okay. I have a que uh, question about uh, assume. Um, when uh, when Wanona said uh, it's very assuming, that means it's very uh, stylish, right? Your house is very stylish. No, the opposite. It's very unassuming. Ah, uh, sorry, unassuming. Yeah, this means it's very, it's very modest, it's very basic, it's very uh, uh, non-stressed, you know what I mean? Non what? Uh, very uh, common. Yeah, I know, the word modest and basic, okay. Yeah. Uh, down to earth. Down to earth, that's right, that's right. Uh, nothing too fancy, nothing fancy. Uh, yes, I am, now I understood this, but uh, she said, uh, uh, he said, I never as, uh, assume leads to assumptions. assumptions. Yeah, this is just a joke. Uh, did you listen to my explanation video? No, I'm sorry, that's why I, I, didn't, I don't want to ask because I didn't 
listen to the explanation and I didn't read the glossary. That's why, but... Um, that's okay, that's okay. You can still ask. Yeah. Um, actually, I do recommend watching the explanation video because I do talk about this. This is kind of confusing. Okay? Okay. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Alexander, did you see the explanation video? Yes. And did you see this section? Uh, I remember. I remember that. Do you, do you remember? Do you remember this? It's kind of never severe. Makes mistakes. Do you remember these words? No. Animals. Ah. You were sleeping at that section. <laughs> My memory is not so good. What does an ass mean? Uh, fool, fool That's right. Fool, yeah. Whoops, what the heck's going on here? Uh, I mean foolish, right? Foolish. That's right, a fool. That's right, a fool. Yep. An ass a, as a person would be a fool. And of course you means you. And uh, me, of course, is me. So in America we do have this expression. And it's funny because A-S-S-U-M-E. A-S-S-U-M-E. So never assume because if you do, this is the nuance, because if you do assume, it makes an ass out of you and me. Both you and I look foolish. And the idea is assumptions are usually wrong. So never assume assumptions are usually wrong. What about police? If they never assume, that will that would be a, a bad situation. Yeah, if you uh, if you like the police, then they must assume. I but don't if like the police at all. yeah, neither do I. <laughs> sometimes I assume uh, it's it's pretty good. No, that's true. That's true. Uh, so when we we say this, uh, when we talk about if you're if you're talking about uh, um, you know your your friends, your friend, okay? Hey, do you do you think uh, you can say this? For example, do you think my girlfriend's cheating on me? Oh, you're assuming. Don't assume that stuff. You're, you're making your girlfriend look stupid and you look stupid. So don't don't assume that stuff. So it's usually about relationships. The word assume, uh, does it mean also pretend? Uh, it can, but usually it means to guess about something. Ah, uh, okay. Okay? Yeah. So, for example, um, uh, Amal, uh, this, I can't think of anything. Um, how, how old do you think I am? I assume uh, 25. Yep, see, now you are foolish and I look foolish because your assumption is wrong. <laughs> it's, it, uh, uh, it's not, um, it, it looks not, uh, um, what's that? Um, not real. I'm not. I'm not real. I'm not close to the real uh, age. That's right. That's right. That's the idea. You can never guess, and if you try to guess, you will be wrong, and you will look stupid, and the other person might look stupid too. That's the idea. Yeah. Yes. Yes. If somebody tell me you are 15 years old, he's fooling me. <laughs> exactly. Everybody's a fool in that case. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Right. Okay, uh, I'll switch over to DDM74. I like this story. I thought this was kind of a cool story about the uh, explorers. 
Uh, and they say astronauts, but do you remember the other word I taught? Yeah, you said astronauts. Uh, no. Terranauts, that's right, Terranauts, yes, yes, that would be actually better. Um, we'll go ahead and start with the reading. Uh, I made a mistake in the text, it's not start, it's star, and I made a mistake here. I, I wrote every, but it should be ever, so I, I apologize about those mistakes. Uh, we'll start with Alexander, and we'll just go Alexander, Amar, Alexander, Amar, and we'll start with Alexander, please. Well, we're here. Uh, sorry. Yep, no problem. Right, right there. Okay. Amar, go ahead. Okay. Well, we're here at the Raising Star Expedition. Expedition. It's, it's day three. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the day we go underground to look for and recover. Hopefully, some hom hom hominid fossil is an incredible, dangerous situation I brought together a team of remarkable, what should only be called, underground astronaut. astronaut. There you go. I think Alexander's still busy. Go to the next one too, Amar. <laughs> they had to be masters or, uh, or uh, PhDs in uh, Pel Pelonology Pel <laughs> Wait Pel Pelontology uh, arch Archaeology Archaeology or related science. They had to have field experience, they had to have caving experience and they had to be able to fit through an eighteen centimeter squeeze. Great job. And that's uh, Alexander, get this stuff. It ended up that the most qualified human beings on this planet to do this very dangerous, very remarkable job were young men, women. And they're going to go down and they're going to recover. Uh, that I hope are some of the most extraordinary human and sector fossils ever found. Great job. Am I? Yes. I'm Becca, I'm Marina, I'm, I'm Hannah. We're going to be the first team of archaeologists to get into the deepest part of the cave tomorrow. Good job. Alexander? Uh, none of us have been into the final chamber yet. Um, we have all been to what's called base one, which is the top of Dragon's Back. And it's sitting right above the final chute, which has a big or rather small squeeze going down into the final chamber. Amar? Yeah. I'm less, I'm, I'm less nervous today than I was yesterday. Um, I'm still a little bit nervous about the squeeze down into the actual chamber. Um, but I have, I've, I've seen it from above and I think it's going to go well tomorrow. All right. And Alexander? Still a dangerous environment despite all the prep that we've done and the more comfortable we feel the better. And so, yeah, I'm just tickled pink to be here. It's amazing, yeah, chance of a lifetime. Very good. Now, lots of words. Let me go back to my rising star. Rising star. Good. And be careful with your R's. Underground. Underground. Recover. 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 Okay. Recover. Good. Tomorrow's the day we go underground to look for and recover. Tomorrow that tomorrow's the day we go underground to look for and recover. 
One more time. But stop. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow. Good. Good. You can make this a. You can make this a t. Tomorrow. 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 Good. Try that again. Tomorrow. 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 Uh, tomorrow's the day we. We go underground to look for and recover. Very good. Now this is also tough. Uh, actually, I'll do this first. Paleontology. Paleontology. Archaeology. Archaeology. What's the difference? Archaeology. Archaeology. Um, the uh, something. Uh, uh, related to um, building or uh, or air, or the earth. The oh. other one related to plants. And okay, that's good. I'm not I'll make it really simple. Paleontology, dinosaurs. Archaeology, man. Okay. Which is more interesting to you? Am I paleontology or archaeology? No, uh, archaeology. Yeah. How about you, uh, Alexander? Mm, I don't like this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you like computers. Uh, Alexander's busy, I, I know. Uh, yeah. I like I like this because uh, I really I really curious about how all the, this planet this Earth and how the people looks like like thousands of time ago. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm 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 also very curious. Uh, and I, let me just ask you, Amar, have you heard of Gobleki Tepe? No. I don't know if that's spelled right. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to go to YouTube here. Or not YouTube. Uh, to Google. You can see the image. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll show you the image. I want to make sure the spelling's right. Oh, that's yeah, spelled right. Uh, this is uh, Gobleki Tepe. Have you ever heard of this or seen this? It's in Turkey. Uh -huh. Can I see it? Is this uh, old? Oh, okay. No, I never been there. Um, no. This. But you have, you know, you have. Have you heard about Palmera? About what? Palmera. Can you spell it? Palmera. It's uh, same like this in Syria. It's very old. Uh, it's P A L Pal. P A. Mera. Yeah. Is that it? Well, I cannot see anything. Ah, uh, in the chat. P A L. Hold on, I'll go back. Pal. P A. And Mera. I'm not sure about Mera. Palmera. It's one word. Palmera. It's M E R A maybe or M E I R A. Palmera. Palmera. Uh, maybe maybe if you write Palmera in Syria, maybe you can find it. Ah, uh, Palmera is M Y. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, this is this is Palmera. This is the woman. It was woman who ruled this place for, and she was very uh, tough woman and very strong. Zenobia. 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 Yes, Zenobia. Wow, yeah, I tell you, your part of the world, Syria, Turkey, Lebanon, uh, Egypt, oh, they have so many beautiful mysteries. Yes. And this is archaeology, not dinosaurs. Yeah, this is uh, archaeology. That's right. What about Besher? Which one is, he's probably interested in dinosaurs. Yes, Besher, but he left. Besher, I, I hide. I hide his his um, his uh, cell phone, uh, and and uh, apparently the, the little one 
he was searching something in my in my room and he found it. <laughs> <laughs> so he you're the little one's the archaeologist. Yeah. And he he brought it so Bishri was very excited. Now for one month I, I hide it from him because he's chatting with his friends and it uh, affects his uh, studying. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh boy! Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, exactly. That, that's right. She's grounding Besher from his cell phone. Yes, I ground. He was. He has been grounded for a long time. No, no uh, iPad, no uh, iPhone, no computer, nothing. Wow. Yes. What? You're so only tough. TV. Yes, only TV and uh, only the cartoon. So he watches three hours of TV. <laughs> no, 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 no. Only he only Spanish Bob for like fifteen or twenty minutes. Oh, that's not bad. So he gets to watch SpongeBob. Yes. In English. SpongeBob. Yeah, in English. That's good. That's good. <laughs> or curious, curious George, or like these nice uh, cartoons. Yeah, curious George is good. Yeah, and they learn English. It's very good to teach English. That's learn right. English. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So he's been grounded. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like George. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now these four are tough. Uh, Alexander, can you can you try them? Extremely tough. Yeah. Give it a try, Alexander. You try to what? Say it. Yes. But uh, uh, my screen is uh, just full of pictures. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I am sorry. There, there, there. Um, they have to be masters. Or this one? Yeah, just the red one. This one right here. They have to be uh, paleontology, archaeology. They have to have. They have to have. They have to be. Okay, that was really good. Good. That was really good. Now, Amar, if you listen to him, he canceled the H uh, in most of them. So, and that was the tough part. And we don't say had to. It's almost a d. They had to be. They had to have. They had to have, you, know, you can have a T, you can have a T sound or a D sound, both are possible, but get rid of that H. So, I'm going to try again. They had to be masters. They had to be masters. They had to have field experience. They had to have field experience. Have, get that A. Ah. They had to have field experience. No, no H? You can get rid of the H, but you can keep this... Here there's no H. Absolutely no H for these. Okay. They had they had to have they had to have or they had to have Great, that was perfect. That was much, much better. Much better. Great job. And say this again, am I? An eight an eighteen uh, an eighteen centimeter squeeze. Good. An eighteen centimeter squeeze. Uh centimeters. An 18 centimeter squeeze. 18 centimeter. 18 centimeter. An 18 centimeter squeeze. An 18 centimeter squeeze. Very good. So, Amal, could you do an, would you go through an 18 centimeter squeeze? If it's the way you show us. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So would you would you go into an 18 centimeter squeeze to find this? I cannot. Uh, I have uh, phobia so of you, uh, tight tight things. That's right. So so we call that claustrophobia. Oops. A uh, fear of small tight places. Yeah. Uh, if I if I stuck in left or anything, it happened to me once. Uh, I I really I lose my mind. You go crazy. 
Yeah, I go crazy. Don't ride an elevator. Yeah, sometimes uh, I check my mobile before I I go in the elevator. Wow, you're really scared. Yes, I check my mobile so I can't call anybody. Oh, that that's that's a good idea. Yes. Yep, yep. What Can about Go ahead. What? Can I read the word? Is it a cluster? Yeah, claustrophobia. Claustrophobia. Ah, claustrophobia. Claustra. Claustrophobia. Claustra. Claustrophobia. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. What about you, Alexander? Would you go through an 18 centimeter squeeze? What if your wife was on the other side? <laughs> I'm sure I'm not going to go there. You, you would go there? No. No! <laughs> you, you would yell at her, what are you doing over there? I'm not going there. You are grounded. Be there. <laughs> Very good, very good. Ahmad, what if your son were on the other side? Yeah, if it's my son, definitely I will go. You'll go, you'll go. Yeah. 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 This is this. If it's my husband, maybe. Think about it. Uh, I really I don't know. If, if that day I was happy with him or angry, it depends on that day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. These guys are crazy, don't you think? Yeah. Look at but yes, I will go. I will go. Honestly, I will go. Yeah. It I would be exciting. They are, very brave. they are very brave. I think so. I, I really think these, these and they're, they're all women. I think they're, well, this obviously, this is a guy. Uh, but yeah, they're really impressive. Very, very impressive. Okay, let me go to Alexander. Uh, Recover what I hope are some of the most. Recover what I hope are some of the most. Good, good. Human ancestor fossils. Human ancestor fossils. Very good. Am I Marina? Uh, I am Marina. Good. And once again, tomorrow. Tomorrow. I cannot I said this word before. Yeah. I know when I when I hear when I listen to this word, it's it's definitely very uh, different from the way I, I spell it. I uh, say it, I pronounce it. Yeah, yeah it is. I, I couldn't I couldn't say this word perfectly. Well we're gonna make we're gonna we're gonna teach we're gonna get you. Tomorrow. 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 Ma, ma, ma. Tama, tama, tomorrow. Perfect. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Exactly. Wow, I got it. It's perfect. Now you're an American. <laughs> tomorrow. Or Canadian. <laughs> or Canadian. Tomorrow. Great. There you go. Okay. Thank you. And this I word and you know this word and some other. It's an easy word, but I know I, uh, when I when I hear somebody say it, some American or British say it, it's different from the way I I pronounce it. But I I cannot get the word like like the word like the word water. Water. Really, water. I really I don't know how to say it perfectly. <laughs> but in this case, Amai, on your iPhone or iPad. Write it down in the notebook and then ask me. And we'll just practice. You just got to practice. Those common words, you just need to practice. So let's say it. Water. Water. I need to buy water tomorrow. I need to, I need to buy water tom tomorrow. Good. Tomorrow. 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 I need to buy water tomorrow. I need to buy, I need to buy water tomorrow. Good. Very good. Very American. Is it water? Water. Yep. Water. Yep. 
Okay, so I will write down all the words which I get I get stuck. Yeah. Okay. Yep, and then and then just let me know and and in the hangouts we'll practice. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Alexander, uh, Alexander, try it. I need to buy water tomorrow. I need to buy water tomorrow. Tomorrow. I need to buy water tomorrow. Oh, you got the rolling R tomorrow. 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 Amal, did you have another question? I know perfectly one word. <laughs> uh, it, maybe, maybe when you finish, uh, I have one question. Yes, when we finish the DDM, okay. Okay, let's go to Alex again. Right above the final shoot. Uh, right above the final shoot. Was this you or am I? I don't know. I think it was you. Shoot. It's the same as S H O O T. Right above the final shoot. Right above the final shoot. More now. Remember, don't give me an O. Give me a, a U. Right above. Right above the final shoot. Right above the final shoot. Perfect. Amal, read this word. Right above the final shoot. Okay, and this word too. Chamber. 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 Cha chamber. That's right. Like my name, Shane Chamber. Chamb is it she or she? It's a C H. Che. Che. Chamber. Che. Chamber. Perfect. Chamber and means story, right? It means room. A room. That's why there's a Harry Potter movie about something about the chamber. Uh, okay. Yeah. So um, when I say like floor, uh, when you say f uh, stories, that means floor number one, floor number two, floor number three, right? Yeah. Uh, but yes. Can I say I live in story four? Can I say that? I, I live on the third story. Uh, I live in. Uh, I live on the third story. Yeah, you can say both. The third floor. Okay. Yeah. In the UK, they spell it differently. Whoops. In the UK, the spelling is story with an e. Ah, okay. And Alexander, you need to. You need to be happy. Chance of a lifetime. Alexander. Is it Chan? Alex, yeah, Alexander, you have a about a five second delay. No. Mm, yeah. Yeah, my connection uh, now uh, it's bad because I use three uh, G modem. I see, I see. Okay, good. The pronunciation was good. Questions, you guys? Is it, uh, is it chance? Chance? Yes. Chance, chance of a lifetime. Chance of a lifetime. No, no, chance. Why, would, why did you choose this story? Why? Why? Did you not like the story? <laughs> not, not really. <laughs> um, it was, it was uh, for me, it was uh, difficult to see the explanation because uh, it's uh, not interesting for me. But uh, it's not an issue. It's just uh, my opinion. I don't worry about that. Yeah. No. That. That. Yeah. That's. That's totally a fair opinion. Um, this story was recommended uh, to me by by another student. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. 
1000 uh, difficult word uh, i can understand them i'm going to type here to alex hold on a second the Can you see my text? I can see when you write down, but it, it uh, disappears. Ah. Well, Alex should be able to see. His, his delay is getting worse. Okay, all right. Uh, let's go back to uh, my chance of a lifetime. Chance of a lifetime. No, that's not cha, cha. Chance of a lifetime. Cha, chance of a lifetime. Very good, very good. Okay. More questions. So, how can I differentiate between when it is a and a? In American English, it's almost never a. Oh, okay. So most of the time you say hand. Yep. Uh, man. That's right. That's right. So chance. Yep. And and so on. Exactly. Exactly. So my recommendation now British English is a little bit different, but for the American English, it's almost always a. Ah. It's a, a or a. Ah. Ah, okay, a or a. Ah. Yep. Okay, and. Uh, and you said, uh, you said, I'm just tickled pink. Yep, I'm just tickled pink. It's a, it's a funny expression, right? Yeah, it means I'm, I'm, I'm just totally happy. Very, very happy. So pink. But I didn't understand when we can use it. When you're very excited and pleasantly surprised. Okay. So, uh, okay, I'm just tickled pink. That's Here. right. So if, you're, if your husband brought you flowers today, you would probably be tickled pink. Oh, okay. Or if your, sister, if your sister brought you some chocolate cake, you might be tickled pink. Yes, tickled pink, okay. Alexander, how is the connection? It's still bad. Yeah. Can I ask question uh, pronunciation? Uh, hold up. Yeah. L hold up, Amari. Let's just, let me talk. Let me type to Alexander. Just because I don't. I don't want you guys talking on on top of each other. Okay. I'm saying. Alexander, why don't you ask a question now if you have one because the delay is bad. And let's wait for him to answer. Uh, I don't have a question. I, I gotta go. <laughs> Take care, everybody. <laughs> Take care, Alex. Yeah. Bye bye. Ah, oh, it's too bad. Okay, go ahead, Amai. Uh, I have also.